Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Docker users encounter. Our viewer is looking for a way to prevent Docker from using a specific network when running their applications with Docker Compose. This is particularly important for those using out-of-the-box examples like Hyperledger, where network conflicts can disrupt remote connections. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. To prevent Docker from using a specific network when running Docker Compose, we can utilize the Docker command line options. Let's explore how to achieve this. First, you can create a custom network that excludes the unwanted subnet. This way, Docker will default to using your custom network instead. Next, when you run your Docker Compose command, specify the custom network you just created. This will ensure that your containers use this network instead of the default one. If you want to enforce this setting without modifying the docker-compose.yaml file, you can set the network in your docker-compose command directly. Finally, remember to inspect your networks to confirm that your containers are using the correct network. You can do this with the command shown on the screen. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To restrict Docker from using a specific network, you can define a custom network in your Docker Compose IML file. Here, you can set parameters like subnet, IP range, and gateway. For Docker daemon settings, use the dash bip and fix scatter parameters to control the IP address and range for the Docker Zero bridge. To make these changes permanent, edit the daemon.json file located in slash and slash docker and add your bip and fix cedar options. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.